All right, let's talk about set versus list in this video in as simple terms as possible. And to set this up, I've created an object called fish. This is a, uh, or sorry, this is a class that's kind of just like a pojo. Uh, it's got a name, and then here's the important thing that I've implemented on here. Uh, I've got a constructor that sets the name, and then I've got a hash code that's generated based on the name. I'm just using the eclipse generator to generate equals and hash code. Because we're gonna need this for set, you're gonna see how this works. So equals and hash code I've got here to, to compare on the name. Um, so what's the difference between a list and a set? Let's quickly create one of each. So I'm gonna say list is, uh, that's just gonna be a list and it's going to be of type fish, um, fish, uh, fish list. And then we're gonna use array list just because that's kind of like the nice, uh, that's like the hammer of the lists, right? And then we'll make another. We'll make a set, and set is very similar to the way list works. I've got a set um, that I'm going to implement, and then the actual concrete uh, implementation of this set is going to be a hash set. Okay. Um, so the difference between these two is list is just a a, a list of elements, and you can re-add the same element into the list. It doesn't matter. A set is kind of based on the mathematical idea of a set, where a set is just at a unique set of elements. So you can't re-add the same thing to a set; it just won't work. Um, let's let's go ahead and add some things to fish list. Let's add a uh, uh, f1 uh, fish list. Add f2 fish list. Add f3. And then I'm gonna sys out that. Um, let's say uh, fish list. Let's make sure that's working correctly. Uh, run as a Java application. Um, and we need to do one more thing here. We need to do the two string. I'm gonna generate a um, a two string because otherwise that's gonna look weird. So there we go. There's that two string. And let's run this again. There you go. Tuna, salmon, and cod. And then I'm going to add uh, stuff to the set. We'll say fish set dot add f1, whoops, uh, fish set dot add um, f2, uh, f3. And then this should look pretty much the same. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you the difference here in a second as soon as we just run this to make sure we're all on the same page here, right? Um, okay, interestingly, the order changed, uh, and that is because I believe that sets do not preserve the insertion order. Uh, there's something else called a linked hash set, which will preserve insertion order, but for now, just know that sets do not preserve the insertion order in hash set anyway. Uh, so let's let's do an experiment. Let's say fish list dot add. Let's add f1 again. Okay, and then we're gonna sys out on f1. Or sorry, fish list. There we go. Run Java application. Yeah. Now tune is in there twice. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing with fish set. Let's try to add fish one again. F1 uh, fish set. All right, so what do we think is going to happen here based on me telling you it has to be unique elements in a set? Uh, look, tune did not get added twice. Okay, how does that work? How does hash set work? Well, it's generating a hash based on the value of the thing that is in the equals and hash code. So we're going to go to fish. And let's see what happens if I comment this stuff out. And then it doesn't know what to compare on. What will it compare if it has no idea what to compare on to figure out if something is unique or not? Uh, all right. So what it's going to do, there's some default in it that will figure out that it needs to compare on something. Although it's always good process, it's always like a good idea to implement hash code and equals anyway. So. Uh, let's just run this one more time. Um, so that is the big difference between the two. Uh, list should be um, 
elements that you can add as many as you want to you can re-add the same element it will not care set it's going to try to enforce uniqueness based on comparing the elements inside of it um, and that is a hash set so that is the video uh, if you liked it just like subscribe and thanks for watching